Hi, welcome to another show of uh, Thoughts on Education. Today we have with us Dr. Himanshu Negandi, uh, Project Director and Additional Professor at IIPS Delhi. Welcome to the College Dunya Portal, sir. It's a pleasure having you. It's a pleasure, yeah, Hem. Thank you very much. So, so before beginning with the interview, I would just uh, like you to give a brief introduction about yourself. Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Himanshu Negandi. I am a medical postgraduate. I have done my MD in community medicine. I have also acquired a Masters of Medicine in clinical epidemiology from the University of Sydney, Australia. Currently, I am working as a project director and an additional professor at the Indian Institute of Public Health, Delhi. Lovely, sir. So, uh, so beginning with the interview, my first question to you is that uh, you have held several key positions at educational institutes throughout a professional career. So, what are the key factors that keep you connected to the education sector? Uh, public health, aim, as you know, is a very diverse discipline. We get students from multiple backgrounds, and public health is very closely connected with public health practice, or in other words, influencing the lives of common people on the ground. When we take up education in public health, it's a very noble profession in which we are aiding young students in their career and shaping them to take up leadership positions in public health or even work as public health professionals and practitioners. It's a very satisfying feeling, and that is what motivates me on a day-to-day -day basis. All right. So, so uh, since you are the uh, project director at IIPH Delhi. So I would just uh, like to understand your philosophy on leadership and how would you like to describe your leadership style? It's a very interesting question here. Uh, see what transpires in the kind of jobs that public health people do is that we tend to work usually in teams. We might have fairly large teams within projects or we might be working in smaller teams with students as well. So although I would not formally pin myself to a certain leadership style, but one of the things that I've realized that uh, I would like to hold the hands of people who are there in my team. I just need to know how tight to hold their hands when it is needed for them to navigate in difficulties or challenging situations. But at the same time, recognizing to release the hand and let them explore and innovate on their own at times, wherever they're capable of doing so. So it's maybe a blend of uh, the circumstances and the teams that we are working in that you know when to hold tight, when to relax your grip, and when to let them do their things on their own. Uh, that's that's indeed a great philosophy on leadership, sir. Thank you so much for your response. Moving on, I, on that note, my next question would be that, uh, how do you strategize about the key programs and plans for marketing and administration of IIPH Delhi? When we work in public health, we are concerned with getting the right people with the right attitudes and values and equipping them with the appropriate competencies. So marketing is not a word that we commonly associate ourselves with in public health. I would say that we focus more on the quality of the product. So we are more interested into what the student actually gains out of the program or out of the experience that he or she spends time with us. So we tend to model ourselves on the philosophy of excellence where we try to give them the best that we can. And that for us is the best form of uh, supporting public health initiatives, as well as if I put it in your words, marketing of the program. Right. So how, how are you ensuring the right practices of the industry? Right. In public health, it's more out of conscience that people operate. At the same time, we need to recognize that we need to respect the rights of individuals and at the same time, equip ourselves with the right scientific rigor so that any decisions that we make as individuals or working in public health are solidly backed by science and at the same time are acceptable to the population as a whole. So it has to be a blend of the two things going together that I think probably serves the purpose for us. Right. So uh, although so uh, public health has always been a very crucial uh, has always played a very crucial role in everybody's lives. Post the pandemic, what do you think should be the uh, institute's top priority over the next 10 years? Right. Uh, public health has been brought very much to the forefront post the COVID pandemic. But even before the pandemic, we had public health professionals who were tirelessly working 
but working behind the scenes where they supported systems undertook means assessments delivered interventions as well as evaluated them over time all these public health initiatives have been very important not just in designing surge responses but also in maintaining the level of response that the health system provides for any day to day or even for exceptional challenges that come along the way covid has reminded us that we need to systematically invest within our systems but when you say what we should be prepared for in the future my take is that public health needs to give the right competencies to its students and by competencies they should be transdisciplinary which give them the skills of a generalist to come up with any situation that is thrown up to them so today it might be a pandemic which is covid but tomorrow it might be a new vector borne disease or maybe the common problems of non communicable diseases which are so very important in india so we need to probably focus our attention towards giving the appropriate competencies that are relevant to the context of india but at the same time recognizing that the challenges will keep on changing but it will be the same people who have to understand how to address anything that is thrown at them so it's quite a difficult task and it requires us to be up to date ourselves so that we can give the appropriate skills and competencies to the students yeah, absolutely sir absolutely uh so uh, coming to the next question from uh, the vision of the uh, coming 10 years to moving a bit a couple of years in the past i wanted to know that uh, when you first came to indian institute of public health what was your vision for the institute has it evolved over time and uh, how far along in implementing that vision are you i joined the institute as a young faculty member uh probably fresh out of my md and my masters and i have spent a significant amount of time with the institute and over the past one decade i've realized that the institute has maintained a very clear focus on excellence across activities whether it be excellence in public health research excellence in implementing educational programs or excellence in providing technical support to various agencies and to the state and the national government so it's a testimony to the fact that uh, we are working in a field where we require to stay on top of the issues at hand and give high quality results and solutions to the problems that face us and the institute has maintained a steadfast focus on these activities and that is what keeps me working with them over the past decade right so uh, as we all know that uh, institute of public health stands as a symbol of excellence uh, pan india i wanted to understand that uh, what are the some, what are some of the biggest challenges that you are facing uh, in higher education generally and for indian institute of public health specifically in the present times particularly i would like to state that uh, since the covid pandemic and there were restrictions on several on campus activities and aggregation of students so we all have to shift our curricula to a virtual mode which comes with its own sets of challenges uh public health is a much of a skill based learning so we have to transition from giving what we give on a face to face mode into a virtual mode so not just for public health but i believe these challenges apply to every single academic program that is offered not just in india but even globally right so uh during these uh, tough times how how do you tend to establish a healthy relation and uh, environment at the institute amongst the students and the faculties right so virtually when we connect with students or faculty we always have to remember that there is a person and a personality behind the face that we are seeing on the camera at all times in front of us we have to be there to support students uh, even though we are placed remotely as mentors or even sometimes for those who are placed close to the institute as local guardians uh, within the faculty we have to maintain a much more vigorous form of communication which is more intensive where the debriefing after each academic session has to be done with much more regularity so that we are able to maintain the connect with each of the students as well as respond to any eventuality that comes up as part of the modifications of online learning right very well said sir 
uh, on that note i would uh, quickly like to move to the last part of the interview and uh, request you to give a few suggestions and advices to the current youth and uh, students aspiring to study public health at indian institute of public health uh i probably think that my take on this would be that young people in whichever discipline they are pursuing not just public health need to remember four p's they need to remember that persistence pays off in the long run the second p is the p for patience that results particularly in public health are not immediate to, for all of us to see it takes time for the results to accumulate and for the benefits to be seen in society the third p is the p of perseverance and the fourth and the most important p will be the p of passion take up public health or take up any career you will do well only if you get a nice set of passion perseverance patience and persistence in a student or an individual and these to me are the recipe for success in the future right thank you so much for your words of motivation and advice sir on this note i would like to conclude the interview and uh, thank you so much for your time it was a pleasure having you on board thank you very much shem it's a pleasure from our side to interact with you as well and all the very best to everyone or all the students across the country stay safe get yourselves vaccinated and follow all appropriate covid behavior thank you very much